In Commodore Things, let's continue the Super Momo course of Plagial Expansion. Now, finally, it's time to introduce, to introduce priorities. One of the element parameters is priorities, and I left this kind of at right on the end of this section because it's a big deal. We will have different videos about that. For now, just to introduce what are priorities, why you should care, and all of that. And what is the priority of an, ad of, uh, an element? Um, the priority is simply how important is that you see that element before other elements. This is the priority. So, exactly. How important is to me expressed in relative uh, compared to the other ones, to, to the other elements. Easy analogy. Okay, you want to watch Netflix. Oh, you, you, ha you have this show, this other show in the watch list. Meaning that you want to see those TV shows, Netflix shows, before another one. For you, it's more important, it's more relevant, you enjoy this, it's known to you, you know you enjoy it, you like it, and so on. Uh, setting this importance is more or less priorities, that this is higher priority than the other TV shows. Today, this will, m might change. I, may, I might finish to wa watching that TV show, I might not, and put it on hold. Now you know what, in the second season, uh, it's not the same, it has a lo large the grip and uh, the, lo the priority now is not as big as before, not as high as before. Same for Super Memo. Why there are priorities? Because uh, the same as Netflix, there are way too many shows. If I was all my life, since I um, wake up until going to sleep, just watching Netflix, even on a, at the two x speed, double the speed, it won't be enough time. I cannot see all of the TV shows that they are released in Netflix. Same for Super Memo, that I cannot keep up with the information I want to learn from. Therefore, I use priorities to at least get the higher value. If I have to select on a small subset of the information I want to process, I want this information to be of the highest value, the highest perceived or predicted value, because I don't know today, necessarily. So to combat this overflow of videos, TV shows, or information, I use priorities in Super Memo. And this is the pillar, one of the pillars, but I would say the most important, the most fundamental pillar of incremental reading, prioritization. Everything in Super Memo has priority. This is a skill that takes the most time. Now, in the next videos, we will see what's the priority queue, how you can set, modify the priorities in the elements. Uh, when has it changed my Super Memo? Because some features actually modify the priority, not just the user. But an advanced. One common assumption is that uh, the priority decreases across time in Super Memo. You will tend to believe this, and it's, it's a myth, it's a misinterpretation of priorities. Check this video about that. Next, a simple uh, rule of thumb for priorities. Especially the beginning is uh, quite a challenge. This rule of thumb will be a lot easier. Nine minutes extra. Feel free to check that because I'm not going to repeat most of what I already said. Then. Why should you care about priorities? We will see this in the next videos, but overall, when you create a, an item, a close relation, it will have an, a starting interval. And this interval is 100% based on the priority. Not even the A factor plays a role here. The A factor will play a role later, not the starting, the first interval you will get. It's determined by just the priority, and then some fuzziness. That's it. Feel free to watch this video if you care about the, the details. Then, priorities in Super Memo can be absolute or relative, expressed in percentage or in position. That's the element in the position number 1111. Or that is in the percentile 20.1% uh, of the collection. I would analogy with Netflix. I already mentioned Netflix, but this goes in a different way. More in detail, 
within Netflix. Not comparing Netflix with Super Memo, but within Netflix. It's a very good analogy. And then not understanding priorities with a brand new collection. This is especially indicated because Fao, he uses his collection that is very small, this dummy collection, and um, it's quite uh, pointless. It's w the example is too dummy. It's already hard to understand. And you make the example uh, quite hard to understand uh, because um, you require more than 100 elements. So at least every element has w less than one percentage of the queue. But yeah, it is what it is. In five minutes, you can get that. So the reading is that we will see priorities with different collections. You should start with priorities incrementally. Just a little, just two buckets, high and low, then three, then perhaps by color that you will see, and so on. So the most you use super memo, the, your collection will grow, the more meaningful the use of priorities, but not at the beginning. Feel free to check this out as soon as possible. Then, there's a metric in super memo in your collection that is called the priority protection, and it's directly related to priorities. I won't cover this in this course because it's already on record. Feel free to check this out again about uh, five minutes. The only difference with Super Memo, Super Memo 19 is that it's expressed in absolute number rather than in percentage. But the video stays true. It's only how it's represented has changed. And the most important one, I think, Super Memo priorities for beginners, cleaning up the confusions. A very in-depth, it's a reaction video, a very in-depth of many little things here and there that I could express in many videos or you have everything in one, in one thing. Once you get, oh, priorities have an effect, perhaps I already did the course, let me go back to this video. Here you go. Check this, it's one hour, but it's well worth it. It's full of golden nuggets, it will save you a ton of time and some of mistakes you will not require to undo. I would have paid to see this video myself as a noob. So don't take that long duration uh, to discourage you from watching that. So if you have seen, I have plenty of videos. By the way, this is just a small selection of priorities because it's a big deal. What will make a difference between a good user of Super Memo and a so-so experience is if you use priorities or not. Number one factor. So in the coming videos, we will see with Foul how to work with priorities. But for now, this is enough for the introduction. See you in the next video.